This training will be hard, outside your comfort zone, and probably make a lot of people upset, but it's the truth. And if you do it, you'll build powerful legs, like the high-tech steel pistons in a Mercedes. I can almost guarantee that 99% of the fitness world does not use these three moves I'm gonna show you, or even know about them. And I cringe even using the word fitness. You already know that if you watch this channel. It's more like physical and mental training. The legs are designed to compress like springs, strike like a battering ram, whip like a mousetrap, and rebound like a rock skipping across water. And it's not gonna be a squat or a deadlift. We're constantly told it's about how much we can load up on the bar though. For any high level athlete, they know that that's completely untrue. Squats and deadlifts don't even simulate anything athletic. They might still use those as tools to trigger hypertrophy or hormones, but there's so many things that the legs are doing and training for that I'll show you here and that accomplish even so much more. Leg iron cross is where I say leg strength really begins. Why? Because it's usually the weakest link in most people. That's the only reason. People are usually as flexible as a board, and in all that tightness, strength is reduced to zero. That's why they snap like guitar strings. Hips, adduction to stabilize, abduction to actually lift the leg up, mobility, even knee and ankle stability is trained in this position. I believe athletes and even the average Janes and Joes are missing out on a whole lot of their potential without training this. And what good is a massive deadlift or squat if you can't control your legs however you want? Be able to kick head height, do a flare or a cartwheel, rock climb and use leg flexibility. This transfers over to everything. And between this move and the horse dance, it gave me all the strength and mobility I really ever needed. You know how to build it? Like I said, it's simple, but it's not easy. We're talking about long, painful static holds up to five minutes at a time. Now seriously, when I create videos like this, I'm never thinking, hey, all of you watching on YouTube, go try this right now and get hurt or frustrated. It's more so to bring a unique angle of education that I've personally used for decades and that we train all of our students on, and to inspire people to think differently about how they're doing things. Honestly, that's the first part of real transformation is thinking differently. Even if that's all that occurs while watching this video, it will have succeeded. But if you do try it, it will take upwards of 200 days to really start noticing a difference because that's how long connective tissue takes to transform. However, it will pay huge dividends in strength in other areas. Even traditional squat, all the way to cool movements that require whipping leg mobility, like aerials, which is just a split done sideways in the air, or blasting roundhouse kicks into the heavy bag. And once you get good with leg iron crossed, you can actually load it with weight. I remember this one type of training I did as part of leg conditioning. I'd hold a 25 pound plate and slide all the way down and all the way back up. I honestly believe that a five minute horse dance is one of the most advantageous training protocols you can do for your legs. And this is a basic for leg conditioning that leads to the second move of leg training, which we will title bent leg strength. Your legs are designed to bend, obviously, all the way up to single leg squats, which can be done in sets, and just like the leg iron cross, loaded with weight. You can even do this with jumping, box jumps with two feet, and then eventually one leg. This helps so much in the real world, like hiking, climbing, and even getting up and down out of a high truck bed or something like that. All of this mobility and strength at all angles, built through dozens of progressions in bent leg strength training, is vastly superior to super heavy squats that tear up joints and lower backs, even when done correctly. I've lost track of the number of comments and emails from people confirming this. Either way, doing squats is fine, even with weight, because that's part of what the body is designed to do, in addition to all forms of bent leg strength. The pinnacle move, I'd say, is a weighted single leg squat jump, but the ladder to get up to that point starts with horse stance, then low squat, then squat jumps, then adding boxes, then single leg squat jumps, then weights, then adding jumps, then jumps with weights. Even a basic jump down from a box will generate two to three, even 10 times body weight, depending on the height of the drop. And that's something that squats can't train you for. And honestly, that's only a few of the things the legs are doing in bent leg strength. There's loads more. But a lot of people will get stuck. Why? Again, because of weak links. What are yours? Tight Achilles, knee surgery, scar tissue, tight hips, one leg shorter than the other? The list goes on. We all have weak links, but it's about how you train to resolve them and keep making progress. 
Paul had 11 knee surgeries, but he's still crushing it, taking his time and adding all sorts of novel training modalities all the way up to katas that force progress across the whole spectrum of movement and strength. The third move is something that most people don't do or even know about. It's straight leg dynamic strength. There's two different kinds. First is whipping, like kicking a heavy bag with a roundhouse kick that generates hundreds or thousands of pounds of force through the leg and into the entire body. A lot of people just crumple or lose balance when they kick because their strength is compartmentalized. Second is striking, like a side kick into a heavy bag or like tumbling and punching the floor with the feet to generate the height for a backflip. Again, thousands of pounds of force. The ideal situation is for the leg to be entirely straight and force generated through the entire body. I remember training tumbling between two and three hours a day, four days a week. I'd also mix in drops and wall flips, which obviously kicks the wall. All of this training was so high impact, I was literally eating barbecue chicken, rice, beans, brownies, and sweet tea every day in my late 30s and could still see my abs. My cardio was so high and my strength was through the roof. I didn't even train ninja strength, but I could easily do muscle ups, handstands, human flags, or anything else because the training was generating so much force for so many reps across hours and hours of time. Now, not everybody wants to do that, I know. It was part of some goals that I had to get to level 10 and all five elements of power batics so I could really understand everything inside and out and how hard it really was and how really to be a better coach. And I'm still doing all of this in my mid 40s. But again, that's not for everyone. But simple, safe ways to make it part of your training include a few things. First, a silly one, but jump rope, especially progressing to double unders. Second, rebounds for height. Box jump down rebounds, which granted are very advanced. I'm not actually advocating that you do any of this training without supervision. And handstand snap downs. Even single leg jumps while trying to keep your leg fully straight is an easy, low barrier to entry way to attempt some of this. Now, you'll be able to start implementing a lot of this, but obviously, as you could probably imagine, it can become pretty complicated pretty fast. And it's super easy to get frustrated and stuck on your training. Though doing these three strategies for leg training are, in my opinion, some of the best methods for leg conditioning in the world. To start implementing safely, you can connect with me and my team. It's absolutely free to dive into our universe. And if you want, you can even get into private training. You'll need to qualify though, but I just wanna show people what's possible and that you can really progress to the next level and sustainably so. If you want private training, you can already be up and running in the next 24 hours with my team of doctorate physical therapist coaches and you'll be achieving all your goals in a leg iron cross spanning two airplanes like Chuck Norris. But it starts with thinking differently being open to new avenues of strategy and adding methods like the three leg strength paradigms I showed you in this video. If you do, I guarantee you, you'll be doing things you never thought possible. See you in the next video and in training soon.